It's embarrassing to admit, but I've glued on puppet eyes before, including using ping pong balls. I don't see a problem with that. It's actually an easy thing to do, to do an eyeball that is not going to work really well long term. I just didn't know, but that's why I'm doing this video, so that you'll know a couple different options that you can have for putting on eyeballs on your puppets. Now, Dr. Dark has a ping pong eyeball. It's glued to the head. And if I ever need to repair him, the problem with the ping pong eyeball is that I'd have to cut the eye off the head. Yeah, it's on there good. Ah! So once I cut it off, I'm gonna damage the surface material of this puppet and I'd have to repair it or try to disguise it. So it's a little awkward. Chances are I won't even try to redo this one because it looks okay for now. It was an early puppet, live and learn. So what are your other options? Well, there are some mechanical attachments for puppet eyeballs, if you know where to look. Dome eyes work great. They are mechanically attached, plus getting the pupil on for proper pupil focus is easier to do on a dome eye. There's also shorter eyes that are mechanically attached. For eyes like these, they're meant to go on toys and the pupil placement's already on. So in order to use these, I actually sand them, paint them white, and then redo the pupils on top. The profile's a little bit flatter in case you want something that's um, maybe doesn't bulge out as much. I actually very rarely use these kind because um, if it's put on a spherical head, it's actually harder to get the pupil placement good for focus. So these are in my drawer, but I really don't use them much. Another kind that I use occasionally is the little tiny doll eyes. I'll use this for some of the smaller, like little tiny, little tiny, tiny, like puppets, like this guy where his face is so tiny, just a little tiny animal eye is all you need. It has the same kind of mechanical attachment. You can either have a post that's got little ridges on, and there's two different kinds of backings that will go over that to hold it to the eye. You've got these little plastic kind of backings, and then there's metal ones. Either one will keep the eye on. The only negative to this kind of eye is it's meant to be safe so that it doesn't fall off, which is great. But if you ever need to take it off, you have to get a little bit more rough with it in terms of it doesn't pop off easily, so if you were to remove this eye, you'd have to use another kind of sharp tool like um, a Dremel or a number 11 or a bolt cutter in order to kind of snap it away or snap it apart or cut off the back. And to get access to the back of the head, if you try to get it from the inside, it usually means you have to take open the center back seam to get access to the little disc in the back if you want to get it from the back or if you try to wrestle it from the front, you might damage the front trying to snap it off with the bolt cutter. So it's not easy to repair. But there is a third option, and this is my favorite. I'd like to introduce you to the idea of 3D printing your eyes. With 3D printing, you've got Design Flex to create exactly what you want. You can design it so it uses nylon screws, this makes the eye so it can be removed for repair or replacement. Now, I learned this from Prasha Romanowski from Project Puppet. He taught a class that explained how to make a 3D printed eye and the novel attachment method. It's so genius that I would highly suggest you go over to Project Puppet, go to the contact form and say, Pasha, I'm interested in an online class on how to design 3D printed eyeballs. If you do go to that online class, he will show you how to do that in Tinkercad. It's an easy to learn program and the attachment method is genius. Let me show you. The attachment method that he teaches is with a nylon screw. That means the screw can be unscrewed and the eye removed easily. Now the same time you design the eye dome, you can design the eye washer. And then he teaches you the secret to how to make the threads to go in the dome so that you can take a nylon bolt and screw it into the back. It's really clever. So now you can, sit, you can put it on the head and pretend my fingers are the foam. You can sandwich the eye to the head. But if you ever need to repair, you reach into your puppet and you unscrew it. No cutting. And the cool thing about 3D printed eyes, not only can you do domes, you can do some really interesting shapes. 
For instance, what if you want a really unique eye? You can make a little paper template and put it on your puppet and pin it in place. And once the paper templates look like they're the right size, just measure your paper template and then go to Tinkercad and put in the exact measurements you need. Then you can make the perfect eye, not too big, not too small. So this is gonna revolutionize the way you design your puppets. You can now think outside of available materials and you can do anything that you can imagine and put on paper. So the pig eye that I designed for my pig is made using one of the templates that Pasha gave me in his online class. I just modified the shape and size a little bit, which is easy to do, and then I printed it out on my 3D printer. So here it is. And then I just pull it off the build plate. I printed this with a brim, and then you pull off the brims and support materials. And you might need like, I have a little tiny pliers, it's called a splinter pliers, that you can go in and remove any supports that are on the back. And look, this shape is kind of like, I don't know if you can see it, it's almost kind of like a half egg shape, but it's the exact size that I need for this puppet, which is the beauty of designing an eye specific for the puppet. The 3D printer I have is the Prusa Mini. It retails right now for about $460. It's worth saving for. I socked away some cash in a secret spot from gifts and holidays and bought my 3D printer. I do not regret that. And 3D printing isn't just useful for eyes. You can also make teeth and noses. I've got lots of different kinds of eyeballs in my shop, but my favorite kind of eyeballs are 3D printed. They can be made large, they can be made small, and you can make unique shapes that you can't get elsewhere. Contact Pasha Romanowski at Project Puppet through his contact form and ask about an online class. It's how I learned and it's awesome.